Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of ratios and rates. This is standard 6.4b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 34 of the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a seemingly simple problem here. We see this number, we see oh, 07 to 16, and unless we're really careful, it will be really easy for us to choose the incorrect answer. Let's take a little bit closer look at what we're looking at here. The question is asking about flour tortillas. And we have from the grocery clerk, they're putting flour tortillas and corn tortillas on the shelf. Seems simple enough. But take a look at this ratio. The ratio of the number of packages of corn tortillas, so I'm going to say corn tortillas, to the total number. Now that is our trick. Look at how they snuck that in there. There is no number for flour. All they gave us was corn to total. Always put labels here. So corn to total is going to be 7 to 16. And what we're looking for is, look, we're looking for flour tortillas, but flour tortillas does not show up in my corn, does not show up in my total. Now, it's not going to take us much to figure out how many flour tortillas there are and what the ratio might be, but the way they set this problem up, they're not giving us the number we need. So let's just simply look to see how we would put, let's say we've got I've got a set of eight right there, and then I've got another eight right here. So if I've got seven corn tortillas right here, so I'm just going to put a box around these seven. These are my corn. And then my total is 16, because I've got two lines of eight there. Well, whatever is left has, has to be my flour. And so that's the only type of work we're going to have to do outside of this problem is figure out how many flour we have. So 16 minus 7 is going to make 9. So what we can say is that the ratio is actually 7 corn to 9 flour. That's going to help us. 7 and 9 make the 16 total. So we're there. So once we have that ratio, it becomes fairly simple. Which number could be the number of flour tortillas? Well, let's just Let's just take these ratios, let's look at them like fractions, and just make some equivalent fractions, right? So if I were to double 7 and 9, that would be 14, and that would be 18. Now I see both 14 and 18. Let's make sure we label these. I've got my corn and my flour, and I've got my corn and my flour. So 18 could work. I see that as an option right there. Uh, 14 is a number there, but 14 is for the 7, not for the 9 flower. If I were to triple my 7 and 9, I see 21 and 27, corn and flower. I don't see that I'm really looking for these bottom numbers here. If I were to quadruple the 7 and 9, I'm going to get 28 and 36. And we're just getting too big. So obviously we should only have one answer. The only number I see from the bottom right here is going to be this 18 flower, which is going to be my answer. Now, how do we get some of these other answers? Well, look at 23. If I've got no idea what to do, I might just add. When in doubt, what do we do? We take all the numbers and add. And guess what that's going to get us? 23. It has nothing to do with anything that we're trying to learn, but you could get 23 by adding 7 to 16. Now, the tricky part is this 14 and this 32. If we were to take our original ratio here of 7 corn to 16 total, and we were to make an equivalent fraction by doubling the 7 and 16, guess what we would get? We would get 14, and we would get 32. We would get this one, and we would get this one, and we don't need either of them because neither of them is flour. We need the flour down here, so our answer is G.